Hey everybody! <laughs> we are here for another fabulous Midge and Madge Mingo! Woo woo! We're super excited today, you guys. We are. We are mainly excited because Madge is feeling good enough to be here for one. Yes. yes. Hot dog. Yes. And two, you know, just because it's Monday and he need a little pick me up on a Monday. Yes. So hopefully we and can look, help you out. It's working. Oh, good. Okay. Good. We were Sorry. Nervous. Sorry, we had technical difficulties earlier. We did. This is Lost take two. Lost connection. So here we go. Yes. All right. Very first, we want to thank everybody that joined us last, was it Wednesday? Last Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. For our Adornit Craft Fall Soiree. Yes. That's a, that's a tongue twister right there. It sure is. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of the gals that were able to come out to the house and craft with us. And then um, those that had their kits shipped to them and then crafted along with us online. Um, so we had lots of fun. Yes, we had some super fun. And so we have Marina. Marina is joining us. Hello. Hello. Thank um, you. And what, what, that was a fun night. Did it, it was a fun night. Did I wasn't watch? feeling very well. I was in the chair and I was yeah. there. So she was here, but you couldn't see her. You could yes. hear her occasionally. Yes. But there was no... There was no match in the camera. <laughs> I was the ghost. She was. Mm -hmm. And her daughter wasn't very happy because her daughter did her hair and makeup and everything for the evening. Yes, she and did. Then... And I was so excited. And then just about 10 minutes before we started, I just... You just started to see me kind of go... <laughs> kind of like that. So it was a no-go. Yes. But we had fun. Yes. And Madge, bless her heart, tried to participate and throw on some comments. I did. I did. And it was a good time. It was a good time. But um, next time is going to be even more fun. Just throwing that out there. Yes. <laughs> and I want to say hey to Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Yes. I'm glad you guys are all here today because Madge has created something super, super fun. And I am really excited that she's going to share it with us today because um, I want to make one for my, myself. And so I'm going to be asking Midge some questions along with you asking Midge some questions on how she made this amazing, cute countdown to Christmas Sweet things. calendar. Yes. Um, but before we get started, I want to know, and it's, let's see, we have um, Marina and Wendy on. I want to know how exciting is your week this week? And have you seen the movie Trolls yet? <laughs> That's what I want to know. She really wants to know because she's dying to see that movie. I am. I am. I mean, you know what? I'm sorry. My, I, I'm playing with my necklace and it's a little loud, so I'm going to try to keep my hands under the table. Mine keeps getting cut, too. We so. should mention, though, oh, yes. we are both wearing adornments. Yep, we are. Are you surprised? I mean, not really because the majority of my closet is becoming adornment. Yes. So, yes. But. Mine's a cute and adornment dress. Thank you can't you. see it. It is but super cute. But it works great with my boot and my leg <laughs> in my wheelchair, so... I love that, but it's super soft and comfortable. It's, so we really keep hoping that they're going to come out with more colors in this material for these dresses because yes. I would live in them. Yes, I very comfortable. Them last night, and this another fun. I guess you call this a baseball tee. Yes, but, and I love that. They didn't have that in the curvy size, so I don't have that one. But it's starting. I love it. Soft. It's an, I just got notification that another package is coming today, and I can't wait. <laughs> Midge, Midge, Midge. Okay, let's see. Um, Marina says, no to trolls, sad face. Oh. Maybe tomorrow, and I have a ton of sewing to do this week. Ooh. Sew on, lady, sew on. <laughs> we need some lessons. Yes. Midge and I need lessons. We, we struggle in that department. But we haven't given it uh, like a wholehearted try. We either. haven't. We, we need just... to take, Midge, Midge is probably better than me. I have a hard time threading the machine. So when I went to Snap Conference a couple years ago, not last year, but the year before, um, they had a baby lock sewing machine, mm -hmm. and it threaded itself, and I was like, hot bananas, I need this machine. But then I thought, oh, yeah, right, it threads itself, but then I have all these buttons that I have to push <laughs> to know how to sew, so that probably is not the one for me. Well, I, I don't know, because I haven't had mine out for so long. I mean, it's brand new, but it's a few years old now, so... I guess I should pull it out and read the instructions. It's just one of those things you just keep putting all on the list. There's yeah. so many other things to do. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Wendy said that she loves her Adornit shirts. Yes. And she also says she is busy doing a display of Christmas gift ideas for Thursday night. Oh, nice. Fun. Doing something fun. I see, Wendy. And it looks like Amy Gasaway has joined us. Hello, Amy. Hi, Amy. 
And Marina says, like Dory and swimming, keep on trying. You know what? You are right. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. I will get on it. Yes. I will. I do yes. have a few other projects, and then I will try the yes. swimming again. Yes. Mm -hmm. And hello to Carlene. Hey, and Carlene. let's see. Um, Shari says, Midge, I love your hair straight today from oh. Canada. Oh, thank you, Shari. Hello, hello. Thanks. Yes. This is called a super, super lazy day, but it's straight because yeah. I don't have to do a lot to it. I used to have naturally curly, and now I have just a little wave in the back. So this is what you get. It is. <laughs> yep. And you know what? You're lucky to see me with my glasses on and my makeup on today. But that means it's going to be a great week. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Power of positive thinking. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Carlene says, hello, ladies. Hi. So, okay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started on what Midge made. Now, you guys, I just can rub my hands together like this and say, you are going to want to make one of these. That's, that's all there is to it. And it's, I, from the looks of it, it looks like it is something that a beginner could make. Yes. Um, but there is some detail to it. But you know what? There's some detail to everything, right? Make it your own? Yes. So, and you can make it as fancy or as plain as you want. I haven't totally decked this all the way out yet, but it's fine just like this. Too. Yes, so yes it is. It's all a matter of your personal style. Reading, reading, reading. reading. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, okay. uh, Teresa. Teresa Harris says, hey, Hi, girls. Hey, sweet Teresa. Long time no see. Yes, we miss you. We miss you. Um, Laura Kelly says, hey, girls. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Um, and Shari says, Madge, you always look beautiful. Um, I was... I was, I was as much of, as a hottie as you right after surgery. <laughs> oh, my stars. You are so cute. No, no. I, I was quite the hottie after surgery. I am pretty sure of it. I have it on tape. She totally was. <laughs> okay, I said on tape, but you all know what I mean. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, first, would you like to tell them what fabulous machine I used to make this project? Yes. Okay, you guys. I'm going to do a little drum roll. It's like Christmas thing, it? Yes, it is. Okay, we used the Cricut Explore Air 2. Okay, the Cricut Explore Air 2 machine. And you guys, this machine is fabulous. And I know that there are a lot of people wondering, why do I have to buy this new machine? What does it do? What is the difference? Mm -hmm. You guys, the main difference is, is it cuts faster, up to two times faster, on certain um, materials okay but it also comes in some beautiful colors pink and mint. Um, mint and there's a beautiful blue color and then there is also the white and gold color and um, we actually were super excited to be able to create this and try this machine out mm -hmm. um, for Cricut so we loved it um, Midge, Midge actually made this project and so Midge let me ask you did you love this machine Yes, I loved it a lot. Okay. And we're not telling anyone you have to have this machine. But we're just saying we like it. We're, we're bad. We love color. So the color is awesome. But the speed is great too because I'm not a patient kind of a gal. So anytime someone tells me, faster, 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 that's awesome for me. And I wanted to point out, as you'll see, and I'll kind of go a little bit more over it, but um, it didn't cut out the detail. Even though I was cutting faster and I knew that it was cutting faster, you can tell. Um, this design that I used is fairly detailed and ornate and the little pieces all still cut just fabulously. So, so that's a point right there, you guys. Mm -hmm. It still cut the intricate design. Yes. Beautifully. Yes, ma'am. Loving it. Okay. So I'm just going to go over the steps super, super fast because okay. this really was a quick and easy project. Yes. Yes. And, and like we said, you can go as fancy or as plain as you like. Yep. And she used, she used a lot of different materials. Yes. Um, with the, with the Cricut Air Explorer, Cricut Explorer Air Two machine. Mm -hmm. Let me get it correct, and okay. it all of it cut great. So go yep. ahead, man. Just without further ado, let's see it. Okay. Well, first of all, we started with a shadow box, a twelve by twelve shadow box. But then I just painted it, and we used the outside of the box for right. our display. And you painted it. Is it white or is it cream? Um, this is cream. Okay. And I will probably age it a little bit too with a little ink or stain. Okay. But you don't have to. This okay. is the beauty of this. This is the beauty of this project. Okay, so I'm just making sure that we can see it, and we can see it in the frame oh, okay. perfectly. Yes, but boop, boop, yep. Boop. If you hold it up a little higher, it's okay, a little I bit can do better. That. 
So, and this is Santa's sleigh, and I use um, all the cuts that I used were from the Cricut Access. Okay. So, and they're just right there for you to grab. And we, this is Santa's sleigh, and I don't know, I wish you could see, but you can see like the little antlers and the, dis, and the detail in the sleigh here, but it all cut great. And this is the glitter vinyl that I used here. Okay, so let me stop. So when you use the glitter vinyl, um, did you um, just put it on vinyl or did you move it to the, the glitter vinyl in the customs dial? Um, actually, it depends which part you're talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> on, okay. On one of them, I just used the thickest vinyl setting. Okay. And then on the other one, I did go ahead and do glitter vinyl. Okay. And it worked great either way. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. And you know, if you're ever nervous, just get a little junk piece of your vinyl and do a quick tester of a little design just to make sure you're going to go through how you want to. Yes. So let me do a timeout real quick. Okay. Because we have a couple peeps we want to say hello to. Okay. Um, Laurie Kelly said, yes, a matter of, per a matter of personal style, woo woo, with our cute clothes. Teresa Harris said, hey, miss you too. Um, Marina said, mint. Yes. That's what I said. That's Marina. what she I said. so excited. I said, pink. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, we got pink. <laughs> Um, Wendy says, this is darling. Um, oh, Marina said, no, I have to, um, probably check out, I'm assuming check out the Cricut Explorer Air 2. She's going to have to check that out. Wendy said, cute. Um, Doris has joined us. Um, hey, Michelle Doris. said, love it. And sweet Yoli is here and she says, hey now. Hey Yoli. Okay. So we're all caught up. So, okay. So <laughs> no, we're done with the time now. Here we go. Keep okay. talking. All right, so we talked about the glitter vinyl. This is Santa's sleigh cut out. Um, then this, and this is the double moon, and it goes with the Santa sleigh. This is all one design. Um, this is, again, the glitter vinyl. And then this is the cool metallic vinyl. And we have the metallic sampler pack that we used from. Oh, I love that. Look and at those I colors. I love this. They are super fun colors. Um, I think it comes with five colors. I'd have to read and double check. One, two, three. Oh, six colors. Excuse me. Oh, boom. So six <laughs> colors in the sampler pack, but we love you know, anything that shines even just a little bit, we love. So mm -hmm. I'm, I am. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And then um, my letters here are uh, glitter vinyl also. And I did use the contact, I call it contact paper, but mm -hmm. you know, yes. with them to place them on here. And one's a little bit crooked. They don't really look because I was upside down when I was doing it. So no <laughs> one would have even noticed. I didn't even notice, but because she has that brain that's like, she notices. I wouldn't have even noticed. Well, it's okay. I will get over it. And you know what? I wrote down the font that I used, but I can't 100% remember right now. It was Noah's. Is that a Noah's Ark, maybe? Yes. But so this is what we're going to do, you guys. Um, I believe everything is saved. And so what we'll do is we will make it so it is available for you to go in and it's accessible to everybody. And we will name it, um, we'll name it Midge and Madge's Countdown to Christmas. So then you can pull those images and make this um, if you have the Cricut Explorer. And actually, I have, sorry, there's something in my eye. I, if you go to the blog, it's all on there. I just oh, can't remember right now. Yes, go to the blog. There you go. Okay. And, and I wrote about everything that I did. Perfect. And the fonts are on there. Perfect. So you can go and check those out. Okay. And then these are super simple. I just found a couple of my favorite Christmas 6x6 six six stacks. And pulled out the papers that I really liked. And I wanted them to be fun and not all matchy-matchy. And add a little bit of color. What? I know. I didn't Fun and not all matchy-matchy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> she really stepped out of the box today. Peeps. Uh -huh. Okay, we have a couple more people. Let's oh. see. Yoli said that countdown is way too cute with some cute Santa emojis and tree oh. emoji. Teresa you. Harris says, love the printing. Um, how do you do it? Now, Teresa, I'm not quite sure. The printing on what everything is actually cut out of vinyl. We yes. didn't um, we didn't print and cut. She just cut everything out of vinyl, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So just to clarify on that one, um, vinyl all things, Yoli said. Yes, Correct. all the things. <laughs> yes. And Janet says, hello, ladies. Hi, Janet. Hi, Janet, all the way from Hawaii. I sent her a message yesterday. Yes. <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> Sarah has joined us. Hello, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Shawnee said, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. And Sarah says, hi, Midge and Madge. You're looking good. Madge. You know what? Thanks. I feel good today. So thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. So back to this. And I, so very first of all, 
I kind of decided how big I wanted my numbers. You can do all this a different size. You can rearrange it however you want to stick them on your board, okay? But I just kind of um, played with two pieces of paper that didn't have anything on them, decided this was my size, and it's um, three by like five, I believe. So these are three by fives, okay? And then laid them on the board to decide how close I needed my little um, decorative binder clips and use my power of power tack. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Lauren, even that's for you every time. <laughs> but yes, power tack because we love it. It's amazing. But I just put a little dab on the back of my binder clips and stick the binder clips where I had measured I needed love them. It. Yes. Okay, then the hard part was no, finding... Sorry, I'm going to interrupt. So, did you have to wait like overnight? How long did you have to wait for the power tack to dry for these? Um, I would think only like a minute or two. But what I did, that's why I put, I put the binder clips on and then I went and cut all of my strips of paper that I needed. And then by the time you came back, they it were ready down. and stayed on when I had to wait. Love yes. that. You guys, power tack by Beacon is amazing stuff. So, if you don't have some, make sure you get some because it's awesome sauce. Yes. Okay. So, power tacked um, the miniature binder clips on, okay. and then went to my little Christmas stacks and found how, and you could use as many different patterns as you want. If you want it to be matchy-matchy, use all the same. Now, when you say that, I want to push pause, because first Janet said she's going to go check her messages. Okay. And then Laura Kelly said, love the non-matchy-matchy. So yes. when you said that again, I thought that's my time to throw it in there. So, Super. yes. Mm -hmm. So again with the non-matchy-matchy. But you could make it look more fancy and have them all the same color. That is totally personal preference. So what you're saying is you didn't take just one manufacturer's paper pad and use that. You took a couple different ones I did. and made it your own. I did. Love that. You guys, out of her stash. Love that. Um, I'm not going to name them because I used a few and I think I may have named them in the blog post, but... Okay, yes. that's okay. We all have a stash, you guys, chuck full of things. And I used the majority of one stack, but threw in a few others. Okay, loving it, guys. Yes. Loving it. Um, and then, that was it. So you want to cut them three by five first, and then decide how big you want your numbers on your piece of paper. And just, and it depends how long you want to count down to. So of course you need zero through nine, and then you also need zero, one, two, three. And if you want to go farther than that, you can add four or five. Just depends how many. What if you wanted to leave it up year round? Then you need one more binder clip. Okay. <laughs> and how and many more numbers? You need to do like zero through nine, zero through nine, zero through three. You know what? See how fast her brain works. Me, I'm sitting here going like, I couldn't figure Actually, that out. Actually, I like, I like. It's okay. zero through nine, zero through six. Zero through three. Look, you guys, she's so smart. Look at that. But there she's you have pretty it. fast. Yes. Okay. Okay. But, um, or whatever you want. Now you've got me all. These are the numbers. <laughs> We're counting down. And actually, today it's not 48. So, and I'm just going to hold it. Do you want me so, to hold it? So sure. But I'm just going to push my binder clip and pull out my numbers. I'm going to be Vanna. Do Vanna. And then I'm just going to stick them right back in. And then I can't really see, but I think that's about straight. And there you have it. You guys, that was super fast. So now it's 47. And okay. to put the numbers on the back, you guys, there are lots of different ways. You could run them through your Xyron and make them a sticker and hook them down to the paper. Um, you could use your favorite adhesive. You could Mod Podge or Decoupage. And Decoupage would be great because it is thinner. Yes. The Beacon Decoupage. Mm -hmm. And it's paper to paper. And that is actually how I put the backs of these on. And I wish I would have brought my bottle out here, but I didn't. But just, I just did a thin layer of decoupage on each of the numbers and, and put them on. I didn't do a, a, a top coat, but you could, or I may go back and do that later on. It's all just a matter of preference. So decoupage or glue or run them through your Xyron machine. Yes. Just stick your numbers on, and then there you have it, and you just change it daily. And then you can either, it can either just sit on, the, on a table or a counter, oh, yes. or it can hang on a wall somewhere. But that was just an easy, quick. Kids excited for Christmas type of a project. I'm loving it. Let me read a couple comments. Um, let's see. Shawnee says, love that. Then you have lots, uh, lots of variety. So she's loving the countdown. Um, you guys, we want to know um, for Christmas and countdown calendars and different mm -hmm. things like this. Because they are so popular. But sometimes, 
you know, your kids want them, and, but they can get really, really, really big. You know, like you, we've seen the cute banner sacks and the cute things like that. And it takes up a lot of room. So yeah. I, that's why I'm loving this. And um, Midge actually made this, you guys, when I was in the hospital. And she took pictures of it, and I was like, hot bananas. I love it so much. Because <laughs> I'm one that I don't have a lot of room. And yes, my kids are older, but I do have nieces and nephews that like to come over and like to rip off the chain or open the bag or whatever. This is nice because they can still change out the number, but it's not taking up a ton of space. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you guys have any ideas for calendar countdowns? What are your favorite countdown calendars? Yes. I'm not going to lie. One of the best ones, and it's not even a DIY type of a thing, but every year my kids look forward to getting those chocolate countdown calendars. Yes. They're really not much bigger than this. And each day they open a door and get a chocolate. I mean, even my teenager still expects, both mm -hmm. my boys, mm -hmm. they still expect their countdown calendar to be in their hands on Thanksgiving Day. Yes. So that That's a great there. tradition that you've started. <laughs> I love that. Um, let's see. Sarah wants to know, um, do you use both sides for the numbers? I did not. That would be a good idea. Some of the papers I chose weren't double-sided. But that would be a great idea too, and you wouldn't have quite as much thickness. Is yes, you could have. Um, so then, well, yeah, actually, because I mean they do kind of stick out a little bit. But yes, both sides would be awesome. Yes, good point. You could definitely yes. do that. Um, Laura so. Kelly says that she loves countdowns. That's awesome. We love them too, and I actually, I think this is super fun because you could do this really for. I say that a lot. I don't say for, I say fur. <laughs> That's okay. horrible grammar. My grandma would be like, smack my hand and be like, it is for, not fur. <laughs> so, excuse me, I'm going to just say that. So, you could use these for a lot of different things. Like, you could even do a Halloween countdown. Because mm -hmm. yeah. Midge loves Halloween. I do. So, Halloween. that would be cute. Or even like, Happy Love Day or Easter. I mean, so it would be really cute, you guys, to do a couple of these and just set them. It would just give somebody something to always look forward to. <laughs> Came up with all the time. Yes. Um, Laura says, I have a couple of printable ones in the online studio um, that you can go check out. Um, Yoli has a sweaty face and tears. Oh. And <laughs> Laura asked, is my kitchen always that clean? Um, Laura, um, nope. And I'm gonna, I would love to say, yes, it is. My kids are so wonderfully awesome and keep it clean and all that jazz so it sparkles. But no, it isn't. It isn't. In fact, my daughter was doing the dishes this morning. We were wiping off cap, um, counter space and um, there is some dishes still in the sink, and but we had to cut them off in the frame. I know, I'm telling it how it is. That's just how it is. Because we can't do it in the craft studio because my wheelchair doesn't fit, um, we will be here in the or kitchen area right. or towards um, where my kids were supposed to help me get my Thanksgiving stuff up. Next week, we so, will have Thanksgiving in the back. Yes, <laughs> yes, and we'll be facing that way. So, no, my kitchen is not always that clean, and I hate to say that, but I'm real, so. I can say that I wish mine was. I, my I wish mine was very true. lived in. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, that is true. Um, let me see. Um, you might have already talked about this, but I'm going to ask this real quick. So when you did your, these little letters here, uh -huh. and I know we talked about how intricate and everything this was here. Yes. Were these hard to weed and were these hard to, um, cut? Did you have any problems with them cutting on the machine? No, not okay. in the slightest. They came off really great. Um, my problem came in with the contact paper, but it's because I did it wrong the first time. So that was why okay. my struggle was real with the contact paper, but it was my, it was user error and then I got it under control. So no, they, they weeded really easily me and mm -hmm. just did it just like normal. Okay. And it was awesome. Okay. That awesome. fly is loving me. It is. It I'm just not really keeps sure why there's only one less in the entire over. house and here it is. I know. <laughs> I even have, Laura, get this. There's even a fly, one of those ugly fly traps in the kitchen right now. No, it's a cute one. Well, they have designer fly traps now. Who knew they, that? They, I do have one of those in there, but it still collects the flies, and they still are ugly, but they're trying to make them cute. They are. They are. My husband really tried hard for me because he knows that they drive me crazy. 
actually, you don't even know what they are until they start catching flies, and then you know what they yes. are. Yes. Or if you accidentally yes. touch one of them, because then there's no unsticking yourself. <laughs> Yoli said, please send your girls over to help me decorate, too. Well, I would, Yoli, but what's going to happen is, is if I send them, I'm going to come, too, because... <clears throat> I'll be sitting in my wheelchair and I'll be saying, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. But I would love to send them to, to you for a week because I hear that you are quite the genius in the crafting world, my sweet Yoli. And I want to know, are we going to be seeing you at CHA this year? I bet we are. So let us know where. <laughs> yes. Yes. Where are we going to find you? Um, fly traps are cool, especially the ones that zap. Those ones are pretty cool, but I can't have the zappy in my house. I have to have it outside. No, not in, no, not in the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's probably what she said. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for joining. Yes, Jenny, my sweet daughter. And you only said, yes, sounds like a plan. Thumbs up, thumbs up. And can Mitch send her kids too? Please. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. How about this, Shelly? No kids and just midge and match. That works better. <laughs> We love it. Okay, does anybody have any questions on this sweet, cute Christmas countdown that was quick and easy? Yes. Anyone? Anyone? Uh, I used to be hesitant to, to do like cricket type projects because I thought, oh, it's going to be a hassle, but it's not. And especially anymore, it's just so, it's boom, it's light, it's quick, it's just a cord, and I'm ready to rock. Yep. So that's one thing. Um, don't ever feel like it's going to take too much time or it's not worth the effort because everything about the cricket is quick. Mm -hmm. It is. And I personally like it even more so than even in like the older days. I loved my cricket before and I had all the cartridges and I loved it before. But now it makes it so much user, so much more, much more <laughs> user friendly. Thank you, friend. Mm -hmm. um, with the, um, <clears throat> with the design studio. Because everything's there for you. And so you just look at up a font and you can see all of the fonts. In the Cricut Access. In the Cricut Access. And so you don't have to actually like go through every single cartridge and, oh, I like that one, but oh my God, I like that one. And I know that they had other tools and things that you could use, like the Gypsy. And I knew they had other things like that, but this makes it even more so user-friendly. So we love, well, love the Cricut. We do. And, and then the Access too, so I just typed in Slay. And all of my options popped up. So I didn't have to just do like Christmas and scroll, scroll, scroll. I, everything was boom, right, right there. there. <laughs> okay, so Yoli says, yes, she'll be at CHA and Phoenix. And Janet says, she totally loves it. Yay. Sarah says, LOL, um, take the, it's too clean my garage. Oh, she'll, yes. let's see, LOL, take the, oh, I'll, I'll take, take the, the boys, boys to clean out my garage. There she goes. So she's saying, Perfect. she's saying she'll take your voice to clean out the garage. Perfect. I love okay. it. <laughs> love it. Yes. Yes. Okay. So if you love this project, you guys, give us thumbs up. Give us hearts. We'd love to see those. Um, share it if you want to. Share it. Share it. Sharing, sharing is caring. caring. Yep. <laughs> and um, we love it. And we love you guys. And we will be back next Monday mm -hmm. with a surprise project because yes. it's still a surprise to us. Yes. We're not sure which one we're doing. We are wanting, let, okay, I want to kind of take a vote real quick. Is that okay? Yes. Please. I want to know if you guys would like to see more of a Christmas type of a project um, because I know we're in November mm -hmm. um, or if you would like to see like a, a, a Thanksgiving type of a project next week and then the next other after that then we can throw in the Christmas. Well, I want to kind of know what you guys want because we're easy. And we want to plan our shows around you guys yes. and what you guys want. And we already have, I mean, we have a few ideas. We're just not sure what you guys would prefer to see. Right. So any ideas or suggestions that you can throw out there would be appreciated. Yes. Yes. So if you, if you have that, type that in. Um, let's see. Yoli says Christmas projects. Oh. Sarah said, oh, I'm sorry, Sarah. She says that she's injured her rotator cuff. And she may need surgery. Oh, I'm sorry. So you will be in our thoughts and prayers if you end up having to have surgery. But even even just hurting it, you're in our thoughts and prayers because that is ouch. We're sorry. We both have feet. You have a shoulder. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> we do both have feet. We, well, I mean, I mean, my my leg. Her I'm foot. giving her a hard okay, time because okay. I can today. It's been a while. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Janet said, "Let's do Thanksgiving." Sarah said, Christmas and winter, please. 
okay? So we'll kind of just check throughout the feed and see because we also know this is live. Right. So by the middle of the week or by the end of the week, we'll kind of know what people want um, a taste for. And who knows? Maybe we'll have on a beach. Yeah. Maybe. We have maybe we'll get it together. Yeah. Because I'm feeling better. So <laughs> I'm going with it, guys. I'm going with it. We're going with it. Today. Yes. We're rolling. We're yes. Gonna... Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow is a different day, but right now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm drinking some water. I'm going to have a Diet Coke in a minute. I might have to sit in my chair after this, but I am drinking a lot of water. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. So should we make it a call to Yes. Day for yes. Today? I do want to say, guys, thank you for pushing us over, though. The thousand followers on Instagram. Woo! Yes. That was big for us. That is huge for us, you guys. And we love it, and we couldn't have done it without you. So be sure to tell your friends to follow us too. Yes. Just at Midge and Madge Mingo. Because maybe we could get some prizes at, you know, I could mail stuff. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to pause really quick and wave. But let me take a pretty drink because my meds make me have. Am I putting the calendar down to pause and wave? Um, let's see. No, we want. Oh, well, okay. no, we want the calendar okay. in it because so it's. Yes. It's going to be the cover for our video. Okay, ready? And yes. Ready? Okay. Paused and waved. Okay, paused and waved to check me. <laughs> and I know you guys are laughing, but that is our thumbnail for all of our videos because it's hard for me to do a still shot because most of the time I'm like, I was gonna, and I was gonna do, do what we usually look like, but no, because that is what would end up being <laughs> on the computer. Yes. That happens every time. Yes. So yes, I'm gonna thank everybody for coming and again for participating in the craft soiree and. We are going to be doing more crafting events too, so keep your yes. eyes out for that if you'd like to join us. Yep. And I'm going to run over there and hit the button so you can. She's going to hit the little button. button. So yes. see you next week. Yes. And I would sing to you, but my singing voice is not good right now. So again, be sure to follow us, share, give us thumbs up, hearts, and we love you guys. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Nope, we have a message. There you go. Say bye. Bye.